Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bobby Waldron, and in this video, we're going to be doing a product review of Harder and Steenbeck's Evolution airbrush now this particular one is the two-in-one version and that basically means you get a 0.2 and a 0.4 needle plus the two um, different um, cups in here now it's a gravity feed it's um, a dual action airbrush as well um, dual action basically meaning that um, you know you press down for air and you pull back for paint um, you know, it's because it's a gravity feed as well. That basically means you've got a cup on the top, um, and you know you pour your paint in the cup, and gravity feeds it through um, compared to like a side feed or a siphon feed. Um, so you know, gravity feed is pretty much you know the airbrush you want. Now, what I like about this airbrush, and we're going to show you, is that it's the CR Plus version. Now, the CR Plus version really is the version you want to get if you get an airbrush. You know, if you can fork out that little bit of extra cash, the CR Plus is going to be very beneficial for you because um, basically what it means is the airbrush has been like triple nickel coated or triple copper coated or something like that, which makes the actual finish on the airbrush um really really durable um it can take easily acrylic paints and thinners but it can take things like cellulose thinners and and not get worn away or anything like that so you know it really does help with the durability if you get the cr plus so um that's a big advantage with getting this now i got this from um everythingairbrush.com which i'd just like to give them a shout out because they are the uk's main distributor for harder and um, steenbeck's airbrushes right so um you know if anyone's gonna have shall we say the best customer service out there is going to be um, everything airbrush because as I say you know Harder and Sternbeck has them as their main distributor in the UK um, if you're not in the UK you know go email Harder and, and, and Sternbeck they will let you know who is the main distributor in your country because um, it really does help go to go with them because I mean I have um, had problems in the past and I've emailed um, Harder and Steenbeck and you know they've put me forward to um, everything airbrush and their customer service is like top notch they will help you out with anything to do with um, the airbrush so um, you know it really is good to you know, know that there is good customer service behind this um, airbrush so what we're going to do now we're going to get this on the bench we're going to have a take a look inside see how it works uh, you know see the difference between the CR plus and their standard version so um, you know let's get on the desk and let's um, check this out so here is the Evolution 2-in-1 CR Plus by Harder and Sternbeck. So let's um, get it, this out and actually have a good look at it. Now, the box looks very, very nice if you ask me, but you get this really nice um, case for your airbrush to go into to you know, keep it all nice and protected. There are some instructions in here as well in lots of different languages, which basically just kind of gives you a rundown of the parts and a few little tips and and troubleshooting and, and that kind of stuff. So um, let's just open this up. As you can see, it's the two in one. And the difference between say a normal one and a two in one is basically you get a spare needle and the two cups right so you've got the two mil and you've got the five mil cup you've got a 0 0.2 mil needle and a 0 0.4 mil needle which at the moment the 0 0.4 is actually in the airbrush um, so to kind of show you um, a bit more of you know what is the difference between the CR CR plus because that is you know the, the the thing we're paying a little bit extra for because um, this is the evolution two in one it's about 130 pounds right and this is as you say the CR plus version <clears throat> so the difference is is hopefully you can already see is the color looks different you know um, this is like a chromey kind of thing but it's kind of got almost like a bit of a 
I don't know, like a bit of a copper tinge to it. Um, whereas this is full on chrome and basically what's happened is, is these have been dipped in some sort of a triple um, copper or nickel coating which makes it very very durable to the point where you can actually come along and use cellulose thinners um, which is you know as you probably know is a very strong solvent and you know this stuff will you know kind of eat at almost anything but you know it will take that whereas you know our evolution the standard one here you know it you know, it does have a bit of trouble sort of, um, you know, handling stuff like cellulose thinners. Now, um, really, the, the normal evolution is a really good, good make, and it has got a good um, protective coat on there. Um, but what you got to remember is I've had this for two years, and, um, you know, I'm not a part-time modeler. You know, I do this day in, day out. You know, this airbrush has had heavy, heavy usage you know so what is probably two years to me is potentially 10 years to you lot so um you know you, you can get you know it's sort of wearing away a bit saying the color cup and stuff and you know it's only cosmetic you know i mean the whole working parts and everything uh you know just um just as good as the day it was brought to be honest with you but with the cr plus you know you've got that extra extra protection from you know stuff like solvents um, but that's not it actually because actually um, with the normal evolution um, I'll just show you I have upgraded it to have um, this sort of easy access needle cap <coughs> right and what this is it's um, the two prong cap um, but what you actually get with the normal evolution 2 in 1 is these old caps um, you know they're, they're good they do the job it's just you know when your needle maybe dries up a little bit you can easily get in there with these two prong caps and sort of clean your needle without taking the cap on and off on and off and all those kind of things right but this alone I mean I'm looking at um, a website at the moment and they're about 40 45 pounds to go off and get this um, two prong cap set because you have to also get um what's that bit called again now the airhead as well as like a new needle and all those kind of things so it's um you know actually i mean this is a quite a bit of an expensive little upgrade and now this is where the cr plus you actually get two of these um two prong caps right as you can see there you get two of them so you know you, you basically you know saving sort of you know quite a bit of money with having them as well um, not only that you don't get the um, the lids over with the normal evolution whereas you do with this CR plus so you can get in two extra you get in the two prongs two two prong caps as well as two lids as well so um, although this costs about 175 pounds so you're paying about 45 pounds more than the normal evolution you are actually you know getting you know two times 40 odd pounds worth of um, you know two two prong caps going on there as well as you get the lids and everything and the CR plus is a really really big advantage if you ask me because it really does um, one looks a lot nicer and you know it's gonna last and take it so that is um, the difference between the normal um, and our CR plus evolution here um, there is the rubber thing going on as well um, but yeah, no big deal. So let's um, take this apart now and show you um, the inner workings, right? Well, first off, you know, we've already talked about our two prong uh, needle cap just there, and then we've got our needle head, all right? So let's try and get you in nice and close for this. Um, now, what I like about the evolution is um, the nozzle the nozzle is nice and big right I, I know with like a lot of other 
um, airbrush manufacturers their nozzle is like mega mega tiny um, and you also need like a little wrench to sort of you actually sort of screw it onto the body and you know if you screw it a bit too tight you end up cross threading it um, which you know adds that potential easy sort of being able to damage it basically but um, with this the nozzle's bigger i find it easier to clean and you know it floats in there it doesn't screw onto anything it just well, it should it just pops in there and you know it's actually the air pressure that holds it into place as well and all of this is like got that cr plus coating on there as well um, let's just take off the back here Okay, hold on. My hands are a bit slippy. Hold on a second. Just get a bit of grip on that with my t-shirt. Uh, so we take her off the back. Now I always say to when we unscrew this, I always say to actually push the needle out through the front. Okay, saves you knocking the end of the needle. And then looking at the needle okay you know if you feel the needle and it feels absolutely smooth it's a good needle if it feels rough it's sort of bad quality manufactured needles which you're just not going to get with something like a uh, with harder and a steam back um, taking off the back here nice and simple now all this is basically just the same as the evolution it really is just you get this nice triple coated um, CR plus stuff going on there. We've got a nice spring in there and looks really good quality as you can see there. Uh, just take this off and hopefully yeah there we go and we've got the um, the, the Taflons here. Now the first releases of like the Evolution it used to be like a rubber seal on there but then that would wear away really quickly and you'd end up getting all sorts of kind of problems with that but now they've put these taflons on they uh, they can take solvents and everything and they last a hell of a lot longer and that is looking really good quality there as well <coughs> um, we have our trigger as well um, now the trigger is also um, you know treated as well which is good because I know I've sort of worn one down a bit I don't know if you can see that on the old one but it's uh, a little bit worn down whereas this is going to hold nicely it's got the nice um, that nice gold sort of bit going on there as well which is rather nice um, what I also like about ev these evolutions um, compared to a lot of manufacturers actually is the fact that you can screw on a 5mm or you can screw on a, a 2mm you could just screw it off and leave it like that as well um, it just gives you so much more options to do there what we've also got is again we've got the Taflon um, thread just inside there as well because I mean that could wear down with you know using solvents and stuff inside the cap end um, now just inside there as well there's something like two or three of these um, taflons as well um, where the needle actually kind of goes down and into um, you know so you know you're not going to have any problems with um, you know them wearing away as well because as I say also on the old evolutions they did have like rubbers and they would sort of wear down over time as well so you know this really is built for some serious nice durability which is um, the whole point of sort of paying that bit extra as well as getting these two prong um, needle caps as well which is you know as I say for an extra 45 quid I think it's I think it's um, now, I do think it is really worth it actually if you can fork out that bit of extra cash to get like two of these um, two prongs as well as the CR Plus. Um, you know, it, it just makes for a better, better airbrush that's going to last even longer. Which, to be honest with you, I mean, this evolution is going to last you a lifetime, to be honest. Um, you know, it's the kind of the wear it is just cosmetics whereas with this one you know it's going to last you a lifetime and even the cosmetic side of it is just going to last a long time as well now it is rather easy to put together as well All right if we just start putting this in All right once we screwed this on 
all right you should be able to feel the trigger going up and down that's to get your air going all right then this can be a bit of a tricky part you sort of need to sort of push that in so it's goes in and you can feel the spring Oop. we want to get that back in get a trigger in all right and you just want to sort of kind of try and get it in there like so and screw that in and you should be able to push down and then pull back then as well all right then we can get our nozzle and our airhead as well and we can just nicely screw that on which then allows us to be able to push our needle in very carefully by the way because you don't want to knock or bend that needle at all so very carefully push it through and then you will feel that once the needle gets to about here that's where it's going to hit those um, those taflons inside there right and then it's going to have a bit of resistance right it's not a sharp hit resistance that you're going to bend the needle but it's going to have a bit of resistance right so then we push that all the way through and then very carefully watch the um, the nozzle end right and you should see the needle slowly come out okay and you just want to sort of push it so it just stops right we don't want to be pushing it and really push it because then you're going to make your nozzle turn into a like a zero you know a one mil nozzle or something or potentially split it and then you've got to buy another one and they can be quite expensive getting like um the nozzles and the needles and everything so um you do want to be careful with that hold on once we've actually sorry once we've got that needle where we want it we then screw this on so it locks into place so then we should be able to push down for air and then when we push back you should see the needle go in and out okay that's what you want and you know you're more good then screw the back back on and then why not I mean for this one I want to use the five mil cup so screw on the five mil cup nice and easy and then your lid you know although it doesn't screw in it just kind of goes on it's just so kind of perfectly um, to size that it just literally kind of you just push it down a bit and it locks in and then you can just pop that out all right which is rather nice I personally don't use them because I've just got used to not using them but um, they are good for stopping spillages and the needle so the um, two prong um, um, needle cap just literally pushes on like that so um, <clears throat> hopefully as you can see it is rather easy to take apart put back together um, me personally I find they're really nice and easy to clean because of the whole bigger nozzle and the nozzle not um, being screwed in like a lot of manufacturers seem to do um, you know so it really really is to be honest with you, I mean, I've used Evolution all the time. Um, I've got their Infinity as well. To be honest with you, I mean, I just cannot fault really Harder and Steinbeck. Um, I have used a lot of other airbrushes before, but really, when it comes down to airbrushes, as much as I try and sort of see what, you know, say what the airbrushes are like and that kind of stuff, um, I just can't help but love um, Harder and Stern, Steenbeck's um, airbrushes so um, you know it is a well recommended airbrush if you've got that bit of extra cash to go for the CR Plus it is worthwhile if you can't do you know what the Evolution the standard one is just is going to still do the job just as good um, you know and you, you, you just cannot grumble with these airbrushes so there you go that is a hundred and seventy five pounds i hope you know this this little product review has been helpful in deciding um you know well which you know is the cr plus worth it or not uh, just to kind of throw something out there for 
um, I have already done a, a, a product review of the Infinity, which is on the Genesis Models website. But um, the Infinity, um, this is like you know about a two hundred pounds airbrush. This has also got the CR Plus on there. Um, but I do find this is for your um, sort of like finer work if you're doing panel line um, pre shading, post shading, bleaching that kind of thing. Um, it does sort of stop the airflow um, coming out more than the evolution does and that is down to you know when you're getting up close you don't want to be having that much air pressure going on so um, using it as like a general airbrush um, I would well I wouldn't to be honest with you I mean for general work you know it's the evolution for some sort of really sort of nice fine work you know you get out the infinity um, really really nice airbrushes um, so there you go I hope you've um, enjoyed this product review so until the next time my name is Bobby Waldron this is Genesis Models and I hope you've enjoyed <laughs>